Yo, 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 this is where we at, Beyond the Hype TV. Yo, we downtown right here, it's your boy, it's DJ Woogie Fresh, Full Effect, bringing you an exclusive, okay? And yo, we're gonna be bringing you out right now, from all the way from Master P, No Limit, Priority Records, West Coast Mafia, okay, Gangsta Rap, Southern Hip Hop, Legendary MC, Young Bleed, man. I don't want y'all to go anywhere. We want to hold you and never let you go. Yo, 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 it's Wuggy Fresh. And like I said, my man right here, Young Bleed in the building. What's happening, man? How you doing? Man, what's good, Ken Fog? How you doing, man? Doing really good, man. I'm glad right. you could be here and everything. Yes, sir. Word, man. So, yeah, I want to jump right into it, you know. All the way back to No Limit, okay? Master P. Uh, tell us how, I mean, you, you started out in music and that led up to that your first track yeah man you know i started I've been writing and you know rapping since i was about nine I've been recording since about 11 years old so man it's like 83 you know what i mean um 85 86 back then so you know you know naturally it's something i wanted to do life dream by the time i was about 21 22 years old i met up with master p through a homeboy of mine by the name of c loke had a label at the time called c loke records that we birthed a click called the concentration camp and uh, we was working the Baton Rouge area as well as New Orleans as well as Master P was coming back home, I believe, from Richmond or something, California. And he started to work on that Bout It movie, man. I had a chance to meet him. Um, he liked what we was doing, you know what I mean? He introduced me to that side of the game. He had a few big things going on himself at the time. So he gave me the opportunity to put that song on, remix to the original How You Do That, you know what I mean? How You Do That? Yeah, Word, you know man. what I mean? So, I seen the video on it. I mean, oh, it big yacht. I mean, you know what I mean? Chilling, you know what I mean? Like, crazy, Word. man. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, he had a few good, whole lot of good things going on for that matter. Like I say, turned us on in that direction. The song was a success off the body soundtrack and the movie, of course. And then um, eventually I debuted, um, I think Bowdy come out like in 97, I debuted with Priority Records, No Limit, and Sea Loke Records in 1998, January, number one Billboard record, number 10 on the pop charts, hip hop and R&B, man. So, word, word. Yeah. That's what started all right there, okay? So, No Limit, you know, the Master P, the CeeLo, all coming together, yes. the big track right there, the video, and then selling on up, you know, to the sky's the limit, you know? <laughs> word. Right on. Right on. Word. So, okay, so, you know, the No Limit, and then, like, you, you were saying, like, you know, Master P was already West Coast. He was already yeah. doing some things out yeah. there. I'm sure that's what led you up with Sebo yeah. and then in the, the next 10 years, you know? Yeah, man, <laughs> word, yeah. Man. You know, of course, you know, Ice Cube, Priority Ruggers, Jay Z, the year before that, at Priority. Rest in peace to Easy E, you know what I mean? And WA, you know, all that was. Word. Um, yeah, I walked into that coming from the south, you know what I mean? Um, Priority Records, Sunset Boulevard. So, you know what I mean? Um, it was a beautiful thing, man. So that was real classic. I knew everything was everything when I walked in the building. And the rest is history, you know what I mean? Word, word, that's what's up, that's what's up. So um, as, as you went to the West Coast, is that another remix the, 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 of the song? Um, you know, uh, how to do that? Was, that an, was you doing another track on pro, um, Priority or, you know what I mean? Like, was it a combination more with the West Coast kind of thing? Yeah. Well, really, you know what I mean? We routed the record from the house, you know, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Free Lip Boosie, you know what I mean? So Word. Young Ken folk back home, man. We out the same place. Um, but really, like I say, with P having that California connection at the time, he turned us on. And, you know, when I went out to the West, you know, the guys kind of took me in, you know. They, they say the South and the West kind of like cousins. So um, when I went out that way, you know, it was a beautiful thing. Like I said, I had a chance to meet, like I said, Ice Cube, the Mac-10, Rise okay. Guys. So, so many artists from the bottom of California to the top of it. And eventually, you know, got the eyes and ears of a guy like Sebo, West Coast Mafia. Yeah. Okay. You know, Free Sebo, that's my big bro. Whoa, whoa, Free Sebo, Free Sebo. Already, West Mob, man. So, you know, a whole lot of evolution, man. You know, I can go on and on for days, you know what I mean, between yeah. those two worlds and the rest of the world for that matter. But that was my evolution. A lot of people used to believe I evolved more on the East Coast, being a little more hip hop at the time than what maybe um, we was doing in the concentration camp and what was going on at No Limit. But with P having again that Cali connection, word. he walked me right into that world and it been a beautiful thing ever since. Word, word. So from No um, no Priority, okay, and CeeLo there uh, down south, yeah. okay, getting out to the west now with Sebo now yeah. and forming, uh, I, I feel what's like the main mission of your music, like bringing the, the gangster rap, the rap music, hip hop, to, it's bringing all the, together uh, yeah. and everything and forming south West Mafia. Yes, Word, tell us about that experience. Okay, well, West Coast Mafia, you know. Sorry, West Coast yeah, Mafia. Man, you know, um, Bo had the AWOL record when he come out with the classic record, Gas Chamber, years ago. And um, due to the demise of AWOL records, um, he birthed West Coast Mafia. So over years, around 2003, 4, you know what I mean, I started hearing from homies. 
and people alike that were saying, you know, Bo was trying to reach out to me. So I made efforts to reach back out to him. Okay. We met one day in um, Dallas, Texas, man, and, you know, he come down to a bus to ride with me. I was on pr probation at the time. Okay. I think he was on parole, so I couldn't make the ride. But eventually he come back out, moved out to Dallas a couple of years, and I kind of re reintroduced him to the South as well as he did in the West, you know, uh, between the time gap of 97 and the great father priority records in, like, 2001. Word. So, you know, my rebirth to the West was through Sebo and West Coast Mafia, man. Word. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. Man. So, um, off of that big track, now, just last year, yeah. you know what I mean, leading up now to where we at the present time, yeah. just coming off a big deal with Strange Music, yes, I mean, Brother Lynch, you know what I mean, uh, Tech Nine, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Tell us about that experience, you know. Okay, yeah, man. This is, you know, a beautiful thing, but, you know, all but short-lived, you know what I mean? Um, I went in there being uh, the only artist from the South that they ever really, you know, signed to Strange Music. So it was, you know, all but two different worlds. So we was trying to combine both of those worlds. A few different things went good. A few different things didn't go like it. I felt like it should and everybody else for that matter. So, you know, um, good experience. A hell of a record. I had a chance to work with artists that I wanted to work with for years. Well, as Tech 9 on the Brother Lynch. And was down the show trying to get in the mix with everybody else under the umbrella. But, you know, we sorting out a few indifferences right now, so who knows what the future holds. You know what I mean? Word, that's what's up right there. I mean, all this music, folks, you can check this online. Folks want to get a hold of you. They want to find out how to get this sound. Yeah. Okay, you know, from all the way, you know what I'm saying, how you do that, you yeah. know, with the original group, you know what I mean? Yeah, Master P, No Limit, yeah. then Priority, you know, the, bringing in the backing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. furthering out the reach and stuff. Yeah. And on to the West Coast, that West Coast Mafia. Check that joint out right there. And it'll preserve, preserve. with strange music you know what right, i mean right. and we got a new joint about to drop out right now and stuff yeah. so how can folks contact you to find out about all these hits i mean how can they you know you got tell us about your websites and things like right. that well i always say this facebook for the ghetto suburb you know twitter for the suburbs man so you know you can catch me out there on facebook you know what i mean just type in young bleed and if you're trying to get get at me through the twitter go to real young bleed and that's all day out day man word just like that so word and then america yeah. this is it yeah, this is yeah. the new album. Okay, yeah, we see I'm, I'm flying the colors, man, both sides of the rag, you know, the white laces on the in-between as well as the flag. So from the streets up, man, you know what I mean? I got a lot of family, underground, penitentiary ties up from the streets to the stage, man. Bloods and Crips alike, man, you know what I mean? Rest in peace to Tookie Williams, that's family, all the way from New Orleans, man. So um, in a beautiful way, I'm trying to combine and bring all those type of different worlds together. You know, I'm from the home of the gumbo, man, Louisiana. So, you know, I try to put it all in one pot, you know what I mean? <laughs> pot, one pot. Whoop it back, man, you know what I mean? And, and put it in their face like that. So word, I got word. a new record I'm calling on once a bunch. Now, I did a record called Once Upon a Time in America in 2007, which is a West Coast Mafia record. But I'm working on my new record now called All American and really describing how, to me, America is the most foreign place where we might get a chance to visit the other countries and stay there for a limited time. But, you know, the heart of America, any place you place it, north, south, east, and west, you know, everybody is here. You can find any nationality, race, color, creed, religion, it's all here. So I'm trying to bring the people back together. You know, my name is Young Bleed Carleone. At the end of Carleone is O-N-E. So I'm trying to bring it back to that God oneness, you know what I mean? Unify the people and keep Word. unity in the community. Y'all like me. Word. Preserve coming off real hot. Yeah. Carrying out that mission. Still going. Bringing everybody together with stuff right here. Young Bleed in the building. And, uh. You just got done with another big track, you know, coming up on this album, okay? Wicked Ways, okay? Yeah. Started out right here in Denver. They also went through strange music and everything. What's the experience getting down with them guys? How was that track, you know, and that experience? Okay, we, we actually did a song for people that's not familiar with um, Wicked Ways. Like you say, that was formerly of Strange um, and different things. They got ties toward Tech 9 and everything that's taking place. They're really from out of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, lead rappers um, by the name of Devil Boy and Tapeworm. So actually, we're supposed to be on tour. We pushed the tour back about a month or so. So, you know, we just did a song called um, How You Really Want It, man. So that's on YouTube. Type in Wicked Ways and Young Bleed and my homie. Fresh out the water. You know what I mean? My homie Chauncey Clare from out of KC Mo, man. Kansas City, Missouri, for those that don't know. So, you know, basically that, man. They're good folks, man. They hold me down every time I'm in KC. And, you know, we're in cahoots with each other. So we got some big and 
Word, word, wicked ways, man. Folks gotta keep your ears in the street. Preserve on its way. New joint dropping. My man, Young Bleed in the building again. Where can folks get up with you? They wanna hit you up, find about this new music, shows you're gonna be doing, things like that. Where can they find you? Okay, like I say, follow me all down to Facebook. Just go to Young Bleed and on Twitter, Real Young Bleed. I keep everything posted. Uh, people around everywhere, man. You know, I just finished. Wrapping up a jam with a homie by the name of KD the Strangle, strange. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. way out in the Ukraine, man. So I got people from here to France, to Ukraine, across the bubble, man. So it's a lot of things from the pop up and a lot of surprising places that you don't think I'm at. So stay tuned, you know what I mean? Word. Yo, I'll keep hanging with us. We're going to check around Denver. You know, just get to mingling, hanging out with people and stuff. We're going to keep chopping up with your bleed. We're right here, yo. BeyondTheHype.com, Beyond the Infinity. You know what I mean? So keep it locked right here. Hey yo, what's up with it? This your boy Young Bleed Carly Young, chilling out here in one of my favorite places in America, man, Denver, Colorado. You know, beautiful downtown. It's a little gloomy today, but it's still beautiful out here, you know what I mean? The mountains and medical marijuana, y'all know what I mean? But right now, man, you know what I mean? We on BTH, you know what I mean? Radio and TV. I want y'all to keep your eyes and ears peeled to that, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, and um, for those, you know what I mean, that's not up on it, you know what I mean, get to the record stores, pick up my, my most recent release, it's called Preserved on Strange Music, you know what I mean, the homie Tech 9 you know what I mean, for those that don't know, you know what it is, and at the same token, keep your eyes peeled for the new album I'm working on right now called All America, man, and you're in a, in a local record store in the hood near you real soon, that's what's up in the 212 already, yeah.